Okay. Hello. I am now broadcasting live, and uh, let me uh, focus on you here. Let's see, so the camera focuses better. All right. Um, we have three viewers, but we're also on live stream, so we have X number of viewers right there. Okay. So uh, who, my my question is thus: Who are you? Uh, my name is Charles Jacob Real. I love Portland. I want to keep it in socks. Right on. Okay, so my second question, and uh, everybody answers differently, and some people say, I don't know. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> uh, is, what is the vigil? That vigil? Yep. Um, actually, I don't know. Okay, so uh, any general broad thoughts about it? No. So there's uh, a couple of signs out front. I know that it's been there for a couple of weeks, but uh... It's actually been here for... Wow, we're having our six month anniversary. Let me restate that, I've been here for a couple of weeks. Nice, <laughs> so yeah. That's but this the is, extent of my knowledge. This is our occupation on the sidewalk, and uh, it began with just a guy and a candle and a table of little mm -hmm. things uh, that's Colonel, and um... Because that is the Colonel? Yeah, Colonel Moses. Is or like otherwise known as Colonel Loose Nut. Could there uh, be a better name? I don't think so. <laughs> That's right. You might see him riding a a, a, a bike with a nut, uh, yeah. with a tutu. <laughs> I've or not his seen Mr. Colonel. Loose Nut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Loose Nut, sir. <laughs> Mr. Loose Nut, excuse me. <laughs> that is assuming that he is a guy. But you know, he he was pretty serious about the mission. He wants. Uh, them to lift the camping van. So that's, I guess, the question. On a private property? Um, not on City Hall property, but rather public property. Uh, it's illegal for a person who has no place to go mm -hmm. to lay down with a blanket because they call it a campground, a recreational campground. Mm -hmm. I can understand that, sir. Yeah, Especially so. I brought in many homeless people. Oh so yeah. Not a place yeah, because they can't stay here. Right. I mean, so have they told you stories about getting awakened at night by authorities? Oh, I've heard so many stories. I mean, it's not you know all about to do with uh, trespassing and whatnot, but it, I mean it's more of a humanitarian right, you know. I mean, it's more about having I don't know having nothing, you know, and being treated, or, you know, not treated well. Right. You know, so I mean, it's just they're all humans, but they have nothing to do but put them in jail. Or something like that. You know, they don't want, and they're having a fucking a hard enough time to just try to survive. Right. What do you get put in jail for if you're houseless? What? If you're homeless? Yeah. Exactly. Trespassing, as you said. No. Okay. So trespass. Um, now the camping ban. <coughs> what What happened was there was a sit lie law, which is a terrible thing where you can't, you know. Sit or lie. Sit or lie down. Yeah, I've heard many stories about somebody. You know, sitting under a tree or whatever and you know it's late at night and getting picked up by the cops. What what hap what happened to them? They got uh, taken to jail because uh, I mean this was at a uh, AA meeting and they were intoxicated. You know, I mean it doesn't matter if you're sober or not, you know. I mean, if you're if you're just human, you know, that's the only requirement. Right. You know, you're human and you're in the wrong place. Right. That's, that's all you have to do, you know, or be. <laughs> right. And so they don't have a place, and the only thing available to them would be public property. Right. And yeah. some people resort to actually lying down on the sidewalk. Um, yeah. Out here, we can be on the third of the sidewalk facing the, the street. Really? Which is, <laughs> you know, don't roll over. <laughs> Watch out for the street sweeper. But, yeah, it, they, they can do that. Um, Although I just got news that some security guard said something to the effect of, you won't be here much longer. So I need to find out who said that and why. Um, I, I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, so uh, we have um, the recreational camping law being applied to people who are obviously not camping, recreationally camping, just because they have a sleeping bag or a blanket and they're trying to lie down. But they get awakened <coughs> all night long. And nobody's happy until they find a little crevice that's in some dangerous part of town where the businesses aren't. That's no joke, dude. I, 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 I,
and everything. All my emotions go out to those people. I can't, I can't stand it. You know, people are being just like stuck in that kind of position. If I happen to, you know, go under a bridge or go somewhere that can't be seen, you know, we're all, you know, the dangerous people are. And it's just, it's okay. fucking so disheartening. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm having to pay for this, you know, pay for people to, you know, do something that I'm not. I'm totally not agreeable with. Oh, you mean the cops and that th exactly. that's your taxes I mean, all, going to work? Exactly. All this, all this power that I give them through money, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I always wondered, wouldn't it be nice if you could like specify, itemize on your taxes what you will and will not pay for, where they couldn't actually use your money for certain. Right. Because yeah, they I mean, wouldn't have their own money. agenda. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We could we could just check the box. But I'm mean, gonna, I guess, yeah, no, we paid people to do that because, you know, the more right minded or whatever you want to call it, you know, I mean, it's, it's totally not approved. Right. So uh, the other law that they apply is the sidewalk ordinance, the city sidewalk ordinance. So, but uh, they, they took the place of the sit lie law, which was, you know, uh, I guess it was ruled unconstitutional, but. That was more because there were already laws, or there was, you know, it was like yeah. a technicality ruling more than a, you know, because it's human right. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, they replaced, they replaced this bad law, with more bad law. That's obviously being yeah. misapplied. So anyway, lift the ban. I guess I would say it's uh, stop using that law <coughs> inappropriately and leave these people to get a night's sleep. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you're if you're able. Well, it's not going to be nice sleep no matter what. I mean, we're going to have the tax dollars to pay for them to have a nice sleep in the first place. We're going to have the tax dollars to pay for them to actually be able to recuperate and recover and actually be able to hold a job or whatever. You know, I mean, it's not only about just them, you know, being on the streets. I mean, it's it's so much more. I can't even say that enough. You know. Right. There's there's more going on here than just whether or not you're of left and alone. There's so many things that you cannot fix. I mean, yeah. Really. Well, Humanity is just a sad place. Well, if you are sleep deprived, you are going to be insane. Yeah. I mean, the sleep deprivation causes insanity. But I mean, and, I've, I've and had illness. a house and I've been sleep deprived. You know, it might be society or it might be something else, you know. Right. But I mean, you don't necessarily have to be on the street. I mean, the people on the streets are the people that I've known to sleep best. You know, the people that I've taken home, they sleep in for fucking, you know, a day or two. I don't know if that's because. That's just because, you know, catching they up. sit on the street, they catch up, whatever. But yeah, folks uh, don't realize that the sleep quality is bad enough that uh, a person who goes to sleep at 10 at night is going to be sleeping through till noon, <coughs> not because they're lazy, but because they're that it takes that much more, especially in the cold or the rain. We have people out here in the rain. Um, there's also this idea of a structure. Uh, if you were to put a shopping cart and another shopping cart and just drape a tarp over it so you could sleep without the rain hitting you, yeah. getting your clothes wet, making you freeze, they call that a structure. <laughs> yeah, they call That's it it's erecting a temporary structure. <laughs> and, and uh, yeah, so if you have a pallet and you lie on top of it so that the rain will rush under you instead of under your sleeping bag okay. and you, they call that a structure. It's a again a misuse of a law. Um, they they actually made a person take down a tarp who was trying to figure out if they were going to call this a structure. He had a, just a tarp <coughs> between a string, and they called that a structure. I mean, yeah. this is this is insanity, is what this is. I'm mean, not so. good now, but I mean, most of the homeless people I know are addicts. Uh, straightforward. You know, I mean, they choose to be on the street. They want to be on the street. But also, they don't know any better, you know, because there's not been any kind of therapy, there's not been any help, you know, under them to be able to support them while they get recuperated or they get in their sobriety. So I think it's, you know, not an issue about people being on the street, but about, you know, them not being able to get a hand up and be able to be protective. Well, the thing that you said about most of the people that you know being addicts, um, if you talk, like, there's a lady I talked to, she said most of the people who are houseless are veterans. And then another person said most of the people that are houseless are uh, youth who've well, been why? kicked why? Is out. Is it because of PTSD? Is it because they have too much of a drinking problem or what? Right. Um, so they don't get enough 
support. I mean, they don't get enough support. Are you kidding me? The army is the least supportive cause, and it's disgusting how much money we spend on this. They're put at a, at a disadvantage, <coughs> physical, mental. They totally are, and they're trying to get all the smart young people to go to the army. You know, to volunteer. I mean, and these people aren't going to be, you know, bettering the environment. They're not going to be helping the people in their hometown. You know, they're going to be out at war, getting PTSD, you know, getting problems, and then not being supported. Just being left Right, on and the then they come back. Then they come back and yes, they have and a bunch of problems. A, so so the army is creating a burden on society right there, you know, by yeah. by using people up, they're they're Let's bringing see. them back, yeah. and and they're bringing, bringing them back broken. Maybe they should be responsible to uh, clean up that mess themselves if they're gonna keep taking people over to overseas. That just floors me. Anyway, um, so so yeah, that's what the vigil is. Now you can light a candle. You can. Uh, we need some incense. I actually do have a candle in my backpack. Really. Nice. I've actually been carrying it around. Really? I don't know why? Maybe it's fake. Yeah. 